Hello Taurus, thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all. It has been a while. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, my lovelies. Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which we may have Taurus in your chart. Very important to remember, this will not resonate with all Taurians out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, it is simply not your story. Let's go ahead and get started, my lovelies. Ooh, I have the chills on this card. Okay. <clears throat> surrounding energy we're going to be looking at your energy your surrounding energy and the mutual or what's most likely to occur this one this one i think things are moving really fast for you right now taurus i'm getting that feeling i'm getting that sense let's see yeah i think that life is moving really fast for you right now um Let's see here. If somebody has like, I don't know if something has, someone has like something stuck in their teeth or some, there's something with like someone's teeth, someone's tooth is hurting or someone has like a sweet tooth. I don't know. I have something really weird, <laughs> a really weird feeling. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Taurus, this is your energy, this is your surrounding, and this is the mutual, most likely outcome, or what is to come. We'll figure that out later. Whew. I feel like your surrounding energy is very heavy. I feel like it's very, very heavy. I don't know why. I don't know if some of y'all are feeling very tied down, very weighed down. Over here in your surrounding energy, we'll start there. You have the Page of Wands in reverse. You have the Ten of Swords. You have the World in reverse. And you have the Five of Swords. Taurus, you're holding grudges. <laughs> you're holding grudges now. Taurus, you have the Page of Wands in reverse, which is in reverse upright this may be like it might have something to do with a child maybe there's something that you are <sighs> let's figure it out and let's figure out what they're trying to tell us actually let's use this one what is that page of wands in reverse is this a child mm -hmm this immaturity no what is that page of wands I think some of you are very um there's something that's ending maybe some of you are having to kind of end some immaturity um towards a situation or like maybe an immature outlook right you're really maturing you're looking at things from a more positive point of view a more mature point of view yeah i definitely feel there's a lot of growth in you um for some of you it has to do with a child maybe some of y'all just gave birth maybe some of y'all have a child maybe some of you are that maybe there's something that made you realize that maybe there was an immature mind state in, in towards towards something or a situation, okay? The page of wands in reverse. This means really kind of maturing, right? Upright, this is a, a free spirit, a carefree spirit. This is also a messenger, okay? And in reverse, this is someone who is kind of buckling down, seeing the broader picture, seeing everything, right? Maybe you realize something you don't, you didn't really like within yourself and that situation or that mindset is definitely ending with that ten of swords you're ending some sort of um karmic cycle lesson mind state or point of view for some of you this is like the way that you were brought up or conditioned okay like some of you were born seeing someone with a very sharp tongue a very careless tongue or careless communication or immature communication or maybe even an immature thought process some of this stems from 
childhood for sure you were like there was no grounding like you 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 were conditioned to think this was correct or this is the way people think or behave and it's not and i think there's something in you that has made you realize hey this is not right this is not me i don't want to do this i don't want this chapter or this cycle to continue with this world card okay it could be from your mother's or, or, or maternal side of your family that this stems from all right the world in reverse talks about being stagnant, being at a standstill, holding off, upright. This is the cycle closing or coming into completion. And it's almost like you don't want this to continue. You do not want this to continue. It's very easy to make this. Look, I, I'm seeing the word easy. Easy. It's very easy to go with your conditioning or go with your background however you are realizing this is not what you want this is not what you want to continue this is not how you want to raise your children for some of you your children are is what your if you have a child or children it's what's making you change it's what's making you develop it's what's making you ascend with that five of swords in reverse i don't want the past to continue to come back the cycle and the 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 curse ends with me and it ends here because I want my children to live carefree, right? Some of you, this is definitely breaking a childhood curse or a generational trauma. Over here in your energy, Taurus, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. You have the Strength, you have the Ace of Swords, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe some of you were, were treated as this way as a child, and that's why you are breaking it. Over here... And it doesn't have to be your child. It can be any child in your energy. I'm definitely getting there's children in the energy, but this is like the, the but that's the catalyst. That's your motivator to break some curses, to ease some things, to change your mindset. Over here in your energy, Taurus, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Strength Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you have been, really been struggling with your mental health. definitely see that the knight of wands some of you have definitely been struggling with your mental health whether you see that subconsciously or consciously there's definitely been some mental health going on here to where maybe you feel like you want to rip your hair out i'm telling you someone is in pain i feel like you see that tooth sticking out someone either has a toothache or someone needs to go to the dentist or something i definitely feel like there has been some pain that maybe it's causing headaches maybe it's causing um migraines earaches things like that to where you just want to pull your hair out because maybe you don't know where it's stemming from somebody is like eating a donut or something or like a coffee someone like is really addicted to coffee or something there's something about like a foamy coffee drink or something it doesn't have to be so don't force it if it's not your story but I definitely see that. Like there's a sweet tooth. Someone definitely has a sweet tooth. A sweet tooth or a cavity or something's going on with a tooth. I definitely feel like your mental health has been affected by whatever is going on in your energy, Taurus. But you have remained strong. Look at that. Look at the, the way that those crocodiles are looking. Some of people don't believe what you're going through or don't really feel the full amount of weight that you have on your shoulders right now. It's almost kind of like they're not judging you, but they're kind of skeptical, right? You're staying so strong, but maybe not everybody sees it that way. Look at the way that they're looking. It's almost like they're calling BS, right? They're calling it a crock of BS because not everybody has your best interest at heart, but not everybody has empathy, Taurus. Not everyone has the empathy that you do right? You can easily feel energy and children surrounding you and innocence, whereas others, they're very skeptical, you know? And it's almost like arrogance in your energy, almost like there's arrogant people in your energy, okay? There is two people in your energy for sure, or two energies 
in your energy that are kind of like, uh, you know, snipping at you, snapping at you and maybe under trying to undermine you or belittle you in some way. And it's really affecting your mental health. And that's what you're trying to stay strong with. With the Ace of Swords, look, it's like you don't have clarity. It's almost like you're losing your mind. Maybe you feel like you're losing your mind. Maybe you feel confused. Maybe you feel like you're having a setback. Some of y'all are smoking. I do see that. Some of y'all are over smoking maybe. And maybe this is like a secret. Maybe some people don't know that you do this. Don't force that if it's not your story. I'm definitely seeing the letter M. I'm definitely seeing the letter V. And I keep seeing the letter S for sure. And maybe even the letter T. All right. And... and the Ace of Swords in reverse means there's a lack of clarity. There's confusion. There's a lack of mindset. And this is mental health, okay? Your mental health is being very affected. And I think that the cards and your angels are telling you, remember to stay grounded. Keep your strength up. And, and don't listen to anybody that is affecting your mental health. Because it's very important, Taurus, that you stay grounded and comfortable and at ease, okay? Some of y'all definitely are going to have a procedure done. I do see that. I do see... I do see there's something like in the stomach area. Like I'm seeing like an operating room or something. I see that so strongly. I see like an operating bed in an operating room. Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I keep seeing something with teeth. There definitely is going to be a procedure happening for some of y'all. Don't force it if it's not, but I do see that coming. But with the Queen of Coins here, this is the Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who's on top of their health, on top of their money, on top of their home, on top of their career, on top of their family. The cards and your angels are telling you, Taurus, remember to stay grounded. Remember to stand your ground. Remember to only focus on what you love and what makes you feel loved and what makes you feel comfortable and happy. All right. For some of you, it's like you kind of have to stick your nose up at some people. OK, you know, there are some people that are kind of downplaying you. And it's very important that you. I, it bothers you. It does. I see it. It bothers you. And maybe it makes you want to go off on this person. However, I think that you're going to stay very grounded. Keep your head up. Even if you have to give this person the side eye. Okay. I think that you're very much so in your energy and your strength is so admirable. But these people around you are trying to really do their best to bring you down. Maybe not even intentionally. I just feel like they're like that. Um, in the mutual energy. Um, you have the Eight of Coins and you have the Emperor in reverse. There's something that has to do with kids. Could be three kids, maybe even four. Um... It doesn't have to be, but there's innocent energies around you. Even if it's not children, it could be people with innocent energy, good intentions, good wishes for you. But that is what keeps you going. That is where your time, energy, maybe even finances are invested in. And that's what makes you feel like you are actually accomplishing things or moving forward or putting in like, like what you do matters. You know, the Eight of Coins talks about mastering your craft, upping your money, upping your time, upping your energy, upping the way that you feel about yourself and the upping the way that you make others feel about themselves. The Eight of Coins, it could definitely be children or it could definitely be innocent energies that are good for you and only want good for you, Taurus. If it wasn't for whoever these energies are, you definitely would be losing your mind. It's almost like that's what keeps you sane. The Emperor in Reverse, Aries energy, it's definitely like it, that's what keeps you from losing your cool, from losing your motivation, right? From getting discouraged. You have these energies that are helping you to be better because you want the cycle to end with you, whatever it may be. Under the deck, what you don't see coming, what you don't expect, the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I definitely feel with the Page of Cups in reverse... Someone's definitely sick. Or someone's definitely not feeling well. 
All right, there's something about like something bubbling up. There's definitely something about something bubbling up. I don't know what that is. And I keep wanting to say calluses, but I know that's like not it. Some of y'all may have it, but I definitely feel like it has something to do with the mouth or something. I don't know, a tooth or a cleaning or something. Someone definitely needs to go to the dentist, okay? But with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I feel like there is a lot of deceptive people or a lot of, um, how do you say it? Condescending people that you will soon be cutting off, Taurus, okay? People that are very judgy is what I'm getting. People that like to gossip, people that like to talk, people that like to belittle people, people that like to crucify people or put them on the spot on purpose, right? That like to villainize someone's character or the way they feel. And you're going to be cutting those people off, you see? It's almost like they're handing you a list of what you need to fix or what you need to change or what they don't like about you. And you're getting that list and you're ripping it up and saying, to hell with you, all right? That is what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. Let's see, if this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Show me some moon messages for Taurus. Ooh, look, we have save me and then we have sabotage. It's almost like you're trying to bring yourself out of a rut. You're trying to rescue yourself. You're trying to fix your situation. Come up, maybe glow up, maybe help yourself in a home situation, in a career situation, whatever it may be. But there are energies around you, like I said, that just like to sabotage and bring you down. Definitely. Yes, and then you feel lonely and then you feel confined and it's not good for you, Taurus, okay? And that is exactly why you're cutting these people off so you can enjoy your peace. Enjoy your peace and enjoy whatever brings you peace and whoever brings you peace. Peace, And like, we have growth. Ooh, someone definitely is working, listening to this and like drop something. I was like <laughs> struggling to pick up this card, but we have growth here, okay? Your growth is tremendous and I definitely feel like it's a growing pain because you are breaking some generational curses and some trauma and some cycles here from a past life even. It might even be from your past life that this is all stemming from. The people that you enjoy, that you live for, that bring you peace and happiness, you have a divine connection with them because you share a past life connection with them. These people helped you out in a past life at some point. And look, we have money slash finances, okay? Definitely, I feel like there is something to do with money and finances. Um, so just be careful with that. Taurus because the 25th hour and the charmer okay just be careful that nobody is taking advantage of your assistance and your generosity okay because if they're not being there for you then don't overextend yourself or overexert yourself for people that only need you when they need something okay 25th hour and charmer that means something is happening behind the scenes that you're going to definitely enjoy and and like okay let me see. Give me an angel message for you, Taurus. You might meet somebody new even. Can't clear, cancel, and release. A message from your guardian angel. Okay, you are clearing, you are canceling, and releasing negativity, gossip, energy, confrontation, conflict, things like that. You just don't want to hear it. Remember, enjoy your peace and only those who bring you happiness. That is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I am sending y'all lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much, and I will talk to you soon.